You know that moment when your attending asks for a complete differential diagnosis for acute dyspnea and everyone turns to look at you? Don't get burned. Grab your sunscreen, and let's head to the beach and create a sizzling differential diagnosis. You can check out other sketchy lessons for more detailed information on each disease process. In this lesson, we'll talk about primary respiratory causes of acute dyspnea. So where better to set our scene than breathtaking beach? Acute dyspnea, or shortness of breath, is a nonspecific symptom of inadequate breathing that develops over minutes to hours. It's that sensation you have after running up five flights of stairs to a code blue. Unfortunately, not being in top sprinting form will not be on our DDX list, but don't worry, so much more is. Let's get started. First up is airway obstruction, both upper and lower. Upper airway obstruction means that the obstruction is above the vocal cords, so we've symbolized it with this upper lifeguard on this trachea-looking tower. Huh. Huh. That lifeguard must be up to something important. He's striding into that upper tower with a purpose. To remind you that upper airway obstructions typically present with inspiratory strider. A lower airway obstruction, on the other hand, is below the vocal cords and tends to sound more like a wheeze on expiration. <laughs> That's why this lifeguard at the lower part of the trachea, I mean tower, is blowing air out of his wheezy whistle. Another emergent cause of acute dyspnea is anaphylaxis, symbolized by our recurring duo of Anna and Phil. Sup, homies. Anaphylaxis may be triggered by food, environment, or medications, and will appear as skin flushing or hives, represented by Phil's sunburn, hypotension, represented by their laid-out positions, wheezing or strider, or a completely compromised airway. Looking a little pink there, Phil. <laughs> Once you can breathe again, you might consider some sunscreen. What? Huh? I, I can't understand you. You're wheezing and sizzling too loud. I'm just trying to be helpful, bud. If a deep neck or pharyngeal infection is severe enough, it can cause acute dyspnea. At Breathtaking Beach, our symbol for pharyngeal infection is this pelican with a red neck. You may see fever, represented here by his head feathers, which resemble flames, sore throat, a muffled hot potato voice, represented with none other than a potato in this guy's gullet. Remember, the swelling may not be as clinically visible as it is in this pelican with his gorgeous giant gullet. I wonder what a muffled pelican squawk sounds like. <gasps> No, I'm just kidding, I'll spare you. 